All right, morning, everybody. Thursday morning, everybody. Another perfect day for our oceanfront practice. Thank you so much for taking the time. If we haven't met, my name is Steve. I'm guiding us through. Uh, I'd love to meet you after, afterwards if we haven't. Uh, what do you say we get started in child's pose, please? And if that shape in your body doesn't work for you, with big toes pressing, knees kind of wide, hips sinking back, forehead to rest down, then you can find any shape in your body that does work. And that goes for everything we do here today. I encourage you to personalize the practice to make not only the po pose, but the whole practice conform to you. Morning, how you doing? How are you? I'm good. But bringing a certain quality of attention towards it, knowing that yoga isn't necessarily what we do, the shapes, the postures, it's more of how we do what we do. It is that focus and quality of attention we bring to it that really makes it yoga. So first and foremost, take a second of gratitude to thank yourself, acknowledge yourself for showing up here today. And let's just begin straight away by, we're gonna exhale everything out. Take a big inhale through your nose, nice and big everybody. And then exhale through your mouth, clear it out. Once again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Last one, inhale. And exhale, empty her out. Breathe in through your nose, just like you've been doing. Think about breathing the whole length of your torso. So you feel it down in your lower belly, your lower back even, your diaphragm. But now keep your lips sealed and exhale through your nose. Draw your navel up and in and gently guide the breath out. Just like that, inhale. Think about drinking up and soaking up this ocean air, all the vitality that rides along with it, deep as you can go without struggling or straining. And then lips stay sealed, exhale through your nose, calming your nervous system, focusing your mind. Beautiful, just like this, everybody. Focus on just a smooth series of waves. Waves of inhales and waves of exhales. One kind of feeding into the other. This is the foundation of our meditation. If you can control your breath, you can control your mind. And as you know, your mind controls your entire physiology. But again, you made the right choice to be here. Honor what you're feeling, personalize it, make it healing. And let's start to get her done. Uh, from here, inhale, let's slide on up to your tabletop, to your hands and to your knees. We'll start it off kind of slow. Let's take your left leg, extend it straight back behind you. Now, instead of pointing your toes, let's flex your foot, a little inward rotation with your thigh, and then lift your left leg high and then look up, and as you do, dip your stomach down, a little easy little back bend. Exhale, knee to nose, chin to chest, push your breath out. Yeah, there's some flexion for you. Two more, extend it back, lift it up, breathe it on in. Exhale, round her down, chin to chest, push your breath out. One more, inhale. And then exhale, round her down, push your breath out. 
Beautiful. Now take your left leg, extend it straight back. You can just keep with that same leg. And then take your, your right arm and extend it straight forward. Now first things first, remember it's this focus and quality of attention we bring to it. So if your eyes are all over the place, like wandering around like, like satellite dishes searching for a signal, well that's kind of what's happening. So you want to steady out your visual gaze, your drishti. You want to steady out your deep diaphragm breathing. You want to firm up your core, look straight down so there's, you smooth out the wrinkles in the back of your neck. So smooth it out, look straight down, bicep by your ear. Let's just give one more inhale, lift up a little bit higher, breathe it in. And then exhale, release and set everything down. We're just going to switch it up. Take your right leg, extend it straight back. Again, flex your foot. So inward rotation, the inner portion of your, your right thigh spirals up, outer portion spirals down. You're lifting with your glutes, your hamstring. Inhale, look up, lift your right leg higher, breathe it in. There you go, everybody. Exhale, knee to nose, push your breath out. Now give me two more. Exaggerate the size of the breath here and the movement, that spinal flexion, the extension. We're just starting to get stuff cooking. After that second one, on your own, uh, if you haven't already, that is, then take your right leg and extend it straight back and take your left arm and extend it straight forward. Steady visual gaze. Steady deep diaphragm breathing, check one. Now do what you gotta do to adjust, to become balanced, to become more stable. You know, as if you were anticipating someone, which might happen, coming over and try to push you over. Firm up your belly, do what you gotta do with the, the wideness, the length of your stance. Lift higher, inhale, stay here. On your exhale, stretch so long that you feel all those muscles along your spine engaging. There you go, pulling long. Inhale, lift it up one more time. Exhale, release and set everything down. Inhale, curl your toes under, breathe it in. Exhale, straighten your legs back to plank pose, high push-up position. Steady. Steady. We don't want the hips up too high. Yeah, make sure your wrists right underneath your shoulders. Bring them back a couple of weeks. If you need to drop to your knees, hey, you drop to your knees. This is your journey. This is your meditation. But keep that strong core. Come higher on the balls of your feet if you're with me. Pull your hands and toes towards each other. Now, what, how's your, your face doing, your jaw? Are we clinching there? Uh, notice that. Take an inhale, shift forward. Once again, you can drop to your knees. On your exhale, we'll lower and take it all the way down. Slide your hands back and untuck your toes. Inhale is cobra pose. Chest lifts up with little to no weight in your hands. Front row, pick your hands up off the ground. Good, now you press your feet into the ground. Exhale, take her back. Now take her back down. <laughs> Let's do that again. Inhale, lift it up, breathe it in here. Good, with your feet pressing down actively, you should feel this in your lower back. Exhale, take her, release her back down. One more of those. Front row, you can press a little bit here. Inhale, lift it up. But you do want to move elbows in. Look straight down. Exhale, release her back down. This time, we switch it up. Inhale, lift your chest up, breathe it in. Now, do pick your feet up on purpose. Bend your knees to 90 degrees, flex your feet, and press the soles of your feet to the sky. So now we just shifted this engagement into our glutes, which is on purpose. Now see if you can take your hands, interlace them behind your head. Ah, good. Lift your feet to the sky. Lift your elbows, lift your chest to the sky for last three. Breathe really big. Yeah, that whole posterior chain is lighting up, y'all, too. Take one more. Inhale, lift it up, breathe it in. Woo, exhale, release, and take her all the way back down. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press up to your hands and your knees here, your tabletop pose. And then exhale, curl your toes and lift your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Woo! Took us a little bit to get here. Pedal your feet out. 
Take it back and forth, side to side. See what you're working with. Hey, hey. Hey, relax. Go lay down. Come on. All right, now do we still have that same quality of breathing? That deep diaphragm breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, if possible, uh, that we just began to cultivate a few moments ago. And then let's get into this downward facing, y'all. Spread your fingertips really wide. Okay, drop your head down and look towards your knees, towards your thighs. So that would be chin to your chest a little bit. Now, a little bend in your knees, right? Little bend in both of your knees. Can you now shove the ground away from you in order to lift your hips higher? That little bend in your knees, that little knee bend is your friend when we're doing that. And then wrap your shoulders around towards the front of your body. So what does that look like or feel like? Well, your, your triceps coming in towards your cheekbones, circling like that. There we go. Remember, chin to chest, look towards your knees. Look here. Yeah, a little bend there. That's good. From here, uh, look forward, and then just step your feet behind your wrists at the top of your mat. Uh-huh. Feet are going to be about hips width apart naturally. Bend your knees till your belly's on your thighs and your knees are on your chest. And then option here today, option to swim your hands behind you and interlace your fingers at your lower back. This is just an option. If you got wrist, if you got shoulder stuff going on, that's cool. But if you have those hands, interlace them. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Now with that bend in your knees, you're gonna flatten your back, pull your hands back, roll your shoulders back, and as you do, you broaden across your heart. Keep the clasp of your hands. Exhale, fold down deep, dive in deep. But your hands now lift off your lower back and they reach to the ocean. There you go, everybody. Chest expansion, shoulder opening. We just did that short little spinal series to start things out. And that was engaging your whole posterior chain, the back of your body. And now we're stretching. So you want strength, you want length, you want flexibility, you want mobility as well take one more inhale here exhale release your hands to the ground now inhale find a halfway lift flat back lengthen out uh, look straight down smooth out the back of your neck exhale fold dive in deep get into those hamsters we're going to do that two more times inhale once again halfway lift flat back and lengthen so you're here you're here my back's flat. Now. Exhale, fold down once again. Nice job. We're going to do that one more time, y'all. Inhale, take a look. This is your flat back. Not here. Here. Look at my hands. Good. Shoulders back. Flat. Exhale, fold down deep. Dive in. Very good. Nice job. Lead with your chest, and now let's inhale, rise. Float it up. Reach your hands up high to the sky. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Exhale, lean to your right and press your hips to the left. You got that left wrist. There we go. Now head back a little bit so that your throat's open. We're going to the same side. We're le reaching towards La Jolla. Head back a little bit. Throat open. Now take your biceps back with your ears and now straighten your arms. Straighten your arms. There we go. We want length from your ankle to your wrist. Let's inhale. Come back through center. Switch it up. Sorry, I'm not trying to scream at you. I didn't realize Exhale, lean to your left, press your hips to the right. There we go. Now the sensation is going to tell you how far to go, but we're not just going through the motions, right? right? We want to straighten. We want to lengthen. There we go. Now you're feeling a little something there. There you go. One more. Inhale. Can you straighten? Can you lengthen? Can you enhance? Stay here. Exhale it out. Fantastic. Inhale. Come on back through center. Maybe lean back a little bit. Stretch up and away. There you go. Exhale, fold all the way down. You can put a little bend in your knees. Lay your torso out long. Drop in your head down on that forward fold. Now inhale, find your halfway lift. Flat back, remember front row. That halfway lift, right? Exhale, plant your palms. Step to plank pose. High push-up position. Now, hey, if you're not used to this, it's like a reverse tricep push-up. It's a little bit difficult. So I always drop to my knees. Uh, in the first couple of these. Take an inhale, if you're with me, shift forward. Your shoulders have to come way in front of your wrists. We're not gonna let the hips sink down though, are we? 
Ah, good. Exhale, lower halfway down. Your elbows should go straight back. Shoulders and hips should move on the same plane. Now inhales upward, face and dog. Tops of the feet down, shoulders back. Slide your hands back, and then you can lift your knees, I'll bet you. Exhale, pull your hips to the sky. Downward, face and dog. Good, y'all. Now breathe really big. Right, if we can control our breath, we can control our mind. And this isn't our natural breath, so it does require our focus. And, and that, that focus is, once again, what takes this uh, from being what you might consider just a physical exercise, and it adds the aspect of being a mental inner size. Inhale, bend your knees, press your hips back, and look forward. And of your exhale, walk, or you could lightly hop your feet between your hands. Heels and toes touch all the way together. Now inhale, give me that halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Flatten your back, right? Flatten your back. Oh, oh. Exhale, fold, dive in deep and empty out. Lead with chest. Inhale, rise. Take it on up. Reach it. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Exhale, straight arms. Reach towards La Jolla. Lean to your right. Press your hips to the left. Make it feel amazing. There you go. Inhale, back up, reach up, and switch it up. Exhale, leaning towards Mission Beach. Press your hips to La Jolla. Lateral flexion and extension in your spine, y'all. Inhale, come on back through center. Lean back a little bit. Stretch up and away. Make it feel good. Exhale, we fold all the way down. Breath-based meditation, we're just coordinating movement to. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, you lengthen out. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward, strong core. Exhale, lower halfway down. <clears throat> Inhale, upward face and dog. Good, now tops of the feet down. There we go, shoulders back, feed your heart through. Nice job. Exhale, hips to the sky. Uh, so, wee, dogaroo. Woo! After that slow start, probably feels good to get that blood start to flow. You know, all this oxygen-rich blood starting to flood straight to our brain. We're starting to pick up the pace, the intensity level. The intensity level ends up being up to you. But if you make your morning hard, and it is up to you, if you make your morning hard, your day is going to be easy. Inhale, bend your knees, press your hips back. We got two more of these. Look forward. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop, feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lifty, flat back, keep breathing in. Exhale, fold down deep, heels and toes all the way together if you can. Lead with chest, inhale, rise. And it's okay to separate them if you need. Reach your hands high, grabbing your left wrist. Exhale, lean it. So your body's just like, woo, right there. Beautiful. Inhale, back up, reach up, you switch it up. Exhale, lean it left, pressing hips right, just to that perfect degree. Inhale, back through center. Lean it back, stretch up and away. Try to feel something head to toe. Exhale, fold, take it all the way down. Surf the wave, surf the wave of your breath. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Shift forward, we lower halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhales upward, face and dog. Feed your heart through, front row, can you lift your knees and shoulders back? You can lift your knees by engaging quadriceps. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward face and dog. Good, you can do that easy on the end there. But next time, we're going to do it with the tops of your feet down. Seems a little bit harder. All you got to do is take your hands back towards you an inch or two. We'll get it. Hips are high. Head dropping down. Two more breaths here on your own, everybody. Soak it up. Saturate with vitality. And then one more flow on your own. I'll meet you right back in Downward Facing Dog.
head back a little bit. Throw it open. You're here? Throw it open. There we go. Beautiful, everybody. Hey, front row, don't worry about it. Uh, you can make the whole thing up. You can make the whole thing up. <laughs> We're just messing with you. It's okay, all right? You're doing great. <laughs> so on that halfway lift, you're kind of like here. Right? You're folding and you're here, right? Maybe here, so flat back. Nice job, y'all. Ain't you? Exhale it out. From here, let's inhale. Lift your left leg high to the sky. And then bend your left knee. Stack your hip. So you scorpion tail that leg. Left heel's gonna come across towards your right shoulder. There you go. Circle it out. If you wanna just kick it out, kinda donkey kick it. If you'd like to flip your dog, that is certainly an option as well. Breathe here for five. Four. Nice work, y'all. Last three. Two, all right. We're taking it back to three-legged dog. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Now re-straighten your leg, flex your foot, and then again spiral inward with your thigh. There's that inward rotation to close the hip. Now from here, walk your hand back towards your right foot. Uh-huh. There we go. Take your left leg parallel to the ground. Bend your right knee a little bit. Find a halfway lift in your upper torso. And then from here, strong core. Let's see it. Open up your arms and come to fly. Airplane pose. Oh. <laughs> steady your visual gaze and steady your deep diaphragm breathing. You focus on that. The balance is going to be easy. Your brain's going to take care of that. If you happen to fall, it's all good. It's all good. If you do happen to fall, take a couple people with you. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. You could take your hands and reach them towards the ocean. Breathe it in. Exhale. Hinge at your waist. Hands to the ground. <laughs> Walk it forward to three-legged dog. It's just one of those days. It's all good. Inhale, lift your left leg an inch higher. Exhale, shift forward, pull your left knee up into your chest. And then step it through for low lunge. There we go. Now begin to bend and straighten in and out of your front left leg. There we go. We've done some forward folds. Gotten into the hamstrings a little bit, but this is probably going to be the most intense you've had so far today. After a couple of those, let's straighten our leg to a degree that suits you. That is not completely straight for most of us. And if you need to shorten your stance a little bit, inhale, look up and lengthen. Pull your left hip back another inch. Keep your front left leg how it is, and then fold into it. So front row, front leg is straight. There we go, hamstring stretch. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm just messing with you too. I'm, I'll try to make that uh, easier by talking to you guys even more. How, how's that, okay? Two more deep breaths here, y'all. You control the intensity. We do want sensation. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Take an inhale here. Great job. Exhale. Come back into your low lunge. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two, windmill open. Steady gaze out over the ocean. Deep diaphragm breathing. Now the alignment, left toes are straight to the ocean. Left knee bent deeply, stacked directly above your ankle. Deeply, I'm talking 90 degrees. We're moving towards in, in those directions. Now your back right toes are going to angle forward slightly. There we go. So your hips, with their back right toes angling forward slightly, it's kind of like your hips are not quite exactly towards La Jolla, almost like towards the point there. Now. Sink a little deeper in that front left leg. Make sure that knee's not leaning inward, pointed straight forward. Inhale, breathe tall and breathe wide. Breathe in 360 degrees. Stay here, exhale, sink a little bit lower. I'm just gonna pull you back a little bit. You're here rather than here. 
right? Watch shoulder stack. Now, inhale, reach forward here on purpose. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Utita Parishvakunasana. Form the thighs all good. Breathe deep. Good. Now, form the thighs good, but you want your heart open towards La Jolla. Right? So roll your right shoulder back. Now, can you take this right hand, reach it to the ocean, and think about your whole right side body. Think about this line of energy, palm facing down. There we go. Breathe well. Option for left hand up parallel. Five, just an option, y'all. Four. Breathe. Three. Two. Now stay low in your lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior. Your right hand's going to slide down the back of your right leg. Now your front left knee, I bet you it wanted to straighten, didn't it, front row? And it wanted to lean inward, didn't it? Rebend your front left knee, stack it directly above your ankle. And if it's hard, if, it, if it's a little uncomfortable, we're knocking on the right door. This is what we're here for. Give me one more inhale, lift up and away. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step your left foot back. I got it. Shift forward and lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhales that upward facing dog, feeding your heart through. Exhale, hips to the sky. So we dog are y'all. Woo! Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Bend your right knee, stack your hip, circle it, donkey kick it, go for it. I, uh, Dougie, I, uh, I got it. Again, see if you can, once you're in these postures, stabilize and then enhance. Can you push yourself a little bit? If you make your morning hard, your day's going to be easy. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Flex your foot, inward rotation. So we just close the hip. And then go for it. Take that stroll, y'all. Walk your hands back towards your left foot. Right leg parallel to the ground. Bend your left knee a little bit. Find that halfway lift. <laughs> and then let's fly. Let's open it up. Airplane pose. Yeah, if you want to keep your hands on the ground, that works. Whatever you need to do to keep your breath flowing. Five. Four. Fantastic, y'all. Last three. Two. Inhale. You could reach your hands. Breathe it in. Exhale. Hinge at your waist. Hands to the ground. Walk it forward to three-legged doggy. Inhale. Lift your right leg and send her on up. Exhale. Shift forward. Knee to chest. Step it all the way through. Low lunge. There you go. Now bend and straighten in and out of your front right leg. There you go. See what you're working with. Now settle in with your legs straight enough. Not totally straight. Inhale, look up. Right hip pulls back another inch. Keep your front leg how it is. Just for a couple more breaths. Dive into it. Fold into it. That front leg is straight. Ish. Yeah. It's almost like as if we do a lot of sit sitting. Whether it's at work, in our car, this is like a preemptive hamstring stretch or a hamstring strike, if you will, for the day. Take one more inhale, right hip pulls back. Exhale, come back into your low lunge, spin your back foot flat, inhale, warrior two, windmill open your heart to La Jolla, or excuse me, Mission Beach. Now back foot spins flat, there we go. Have this long stance. Long stance, and if your knee comes in front of the ankle, that's the posture saying, hey, we need a little bit longer. Slide the foot forward a little bit more. Ah, good, now turn those back left toes in a little bit. Uh-huh, all right. Soften your face, it's all good, all right. <laughs> Inhale, breathe tall. What does it feel like to try to breathe your body taller and then wider at the top? That's breathing in 360 degrees. That's initiating from your diaphragm. Exhale, sink a little bit. You can do more. Try to feel it everywhere. Two breaths, inhale. Fantastic, y'all. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, all right. Inhale, we're reach, 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 and extend forward. Exhale is extended side angle pose. Utita Parishvakonasana. Now take it forward. And then, yeah, here's good. Warm the thigh. Yeah. Good. Turn your back, left toes in a little bit. There we go. 
Now breathe well. Again, heart facing Mission Beach. If you're like, if your, jam, your hand is to the ground and your heart's facing the ground, come up and roll open. Now, as you reach more, left shoulder rolls back. See what you can get cooking on your left side body. Option for right hand up parallel, five. Just an option, you don't have to do it. Four, breathe. I know you're feeling it. Three, if it's uncomfortable, if it's challenging, good. Two, stay low, inhale, reverse your warrior. Slide your left hand on the back of your left leg. Your right knee is gonna wanna lean inward, you're gonna resist. Beautiful. One more, take a big breath in, straighten that arm, reach back, we're not just ah, cradling our head here. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step your right foot back. Shift it forward and lower with control. Good. Inhales that upward facing dog. Heart coming through. Exhale, send your hips to the sky. So we doggaroo. Now take a breath here. Take a breath and again, thank yourself for being here. Before you walk off your mat, you'll have touched, take care of, and maintained every cell of your body, muscle, tendon, tissue, organ. You'll have done so in a real meditative and mindful way. This is huge. You're going to win your morning so you can win your day. Inhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, push your breath out. Maybe you can get knee to forehead. Maybe not. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, sweep your left foot through, low lunge, stack your knee above your ankle. Inhale, straighten your front left leg till it feels kind of good. There we go. Exhale, we're right back in that low lunge. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two. Circle open and spread your wings. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Give me some length here, some space. Stay low, inhale, reversing your warrior. We're riding and surfing the breath. It's slow. Exhale, take it on down, step it on back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale that upward facing, heart open wide. Skip it if you need. Elbows in. Exhale, good adjustment. Send your hips to the sky, downward facing. Inhale, lift your right leg. Breathe your right leg up. There you go. Exhale, knee to nose. Push your breath out. Inhale, reach. Good. And the exhale, a sweep it through. It's a low lunge. Aye. Inhale, straighten your front right leg to that perfect degree. Exhale, right back in it. Low lungeries. Step, spin your back foot. Inhale, second warrior. Circle open. Exhale, lengthen, extend side angle pose. Try to feel something, try to create some space. Inhale, reversing your warrior, feel it. Remember, it's not what we do, it's how we do what we do. Exhale, windmill down, step it on back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Fantastic. Inhale, that upward facing dog, by now you, you're familiar. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing. Inhale, left leg, breather up. Exhale, knee to nose, push your breath out. Inhale, reach. Good, and the exhale, sweep it through, it's a low lunge. Aye. Inhale, straighten your front left leg, not too much and not too little. Exhale, your right back in that low lunge, spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior two, spread your wings open wide. Good, everybody. Take it from here. Breathe well. Breathe deep. And if, hey, if, if your breath was moving a little bit slower than what I was saying, then cool, make the movement slower. Personalize the practice. You got right side on your own, y'all. Right side on your own. So that's knee to nose, the low lunge and hamstring stretch, and then that dancing warrior flow. Hey, if it's hard, if it's a little bit difficult, good, good. This is gonna make you 
resilient throughout your day. Pretty much whatever gets thrown at you, I'm sure there are some exceptions. This will probably be harder, more challenging. Good. From your downward facing dog. Still breathing deep. Still soaking up that ocean air. Uh, we'll shift forward to plank pose, high push-up position. Squeeze your legs together, ground into your right hand, and then roll open to your left for side plank pose, Vashistasa. Now lift your hips, everybody. You can drop a knee or a forearm. That's all good. But lift those hips, Julia. There we go. Crescent shape your right side body. Now your gaze and breath are steady, right? If you're feeling strong, you can lift your left leg up off your right for five. Left hand towards the ocean. Four. See how much you can push, y'all. Three. Without compromising your breath. Two. Take an inhale, reach low. Exhale to plank. Pull your left knee into your nose. Push your breath out. Stay here. Pull your knee up higher. Breathe in. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, step your right foot forward next to your left and come right into your halfway lift. Breathe in, there you go. Exhale, fold, dive in deep and empty out. Inhale, ukatasana, chair pose. Now sink your hips and lift your chest, now reach. Exhale, forward fold, utanasana, dive it on in. Do it again. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Sink lower, reach higher, breathe bigger. bigger. Exhale, dive it on in. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Inhale, chair pose. Sink low, reach high, breathe in. Exhale, slide your hands to heart center. Rotate to your left. See if you can hook your right elbow outside of your left knee or thigh. Good, you can get that elbow there. Bring your heels and toes all the way together, if you can. There we go. And then bend deep. Good, sink your hips low. Inhale, think about your hips pulling back and your head reaching out. Exhale, using that leverage to twist, draw your navel and protect your spine. Five. This balancing transition we've done before. Four. Kind of like what Mark's doing. Right here. Three. Okay, start to look down. How graceful are we going to make this, huh? Front row. Uh, shift your weight into your left foot, too. Inhale, pick your right foot up. And then slowly, slowly, step your right foot all the way back. <laughs> so you're still twisted. Uh, and if you fell out, you can come back in. So... Modify. Yeah. If you need to drop that back knee to the ground, cool. If your thumbs are way up by your shoulder, can you lift your whole torso up so there's a little bit of space in between your rib cage and thigh? Three more breaths. I know you're feeling this one, y'all. This is good. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, fantastic. Take one more inhale here. Woo, exhale. Let's release to runner's lunge. Take both hands to the inside of your left foot. Drop your back right knee to the ground if it's not already. That was awesome, by the way, everybody. Some strong asanas, uh, postures, that is. And then inhale. Heel toe your left foot towards the front left corner of your mat. Straighten your arms and lengthen out your spine. Exhale, just start to bend your elbows and come down. Now, okay, option here. Let me give you the option. You can come into a quadricep stretch as well. So if you're doing that, you can start with your arms straight, bend your right knee, reach your left hand back and clasp the foot. And you could actually do a combination of the two. If you want to grab that back foot with your left hand and drop to your right forearm. 
There you go. Hey, nice, Wally. Three more deep breaths here. It is. Exhale. Inhale. No. Exhale it out. One more. Take an inhale. Great job, everybody. If you have that quadricep stretch without breaking your toes, just gently release that foot to the ground. Hands underneath your shoulders. Let's inhale. Straighten your arms. Curl your back right toes under. Pick your back right knee up. And then step your left foot back to your right. So we're back to plank pose, high push-up position. And then uh, squeeze your legs together. Ground into your left hand. And inhale, roll open to your right for side plank pose. Vashi Tassa. I know we're just here. Short series here, y'all. And it'll be different at the end, this, this side. But breathe. You're doing fantastic. You're doing a huge service for yourself. Lift your hips. Yeah. If you're feeling strong and you want to lift your right leg up, go for it. Five. Right hand to the ocean. Four. Woo! Good. Now, nah, nah, nah. three. Plank will right knee to nose in two. Take it in now. Reach. Exhale, plank. Pull your right knee into your nose. Take it in now. Pull it up higher. Stay here. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Low lunge. Inhale, step your left foot forward next to your right. Find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, dive, and empty your out. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Sink your hips. Lift your chest. Reach. Exhale, slide your hands to heart. Rotate to your right. So if you can, your knees are squeezing together. If you separate for whatever reason, all good, all good. But either way, notice how your right knee wants to pull back. And that's reflective of what's going on in your hips as well. It's hard to keep your knees flush. It's hard to keep your spine and your, your hips, well, your spine straight, your hips squared. We do our best. Breathe well for five. And then that, that balancing transition in four. All right, y'all. Last three. Okay, look down, shift your weight into your right foot too. Inhale, left foot picks up. And then slowly, slowly step it all the way back. Pavarita Anjaneyasana, your rotated crescent. Now, once you're here, can you adjust to stabilize more? And that might be dropping a knee to the ground. Once you have the knee there and you're stable, you might pick it up, you might keep it there. Either way, let's push a little bit for three breaths. Inhale. Navel in. Use leverage. Exhale. Twist. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Take an inhale here. Good, everybody. Exhale. Release to runner's lunge. Both hands to the inside of your right foot. Drop your back left knee to the ground. Heel toe your right foot towards the front right corner of your mat. Inhale, straighten your arms. Now, if you again, if you want that quadricep stretch, start up top here by bending your left knee, reaching your right hand back and clasping the foot. And then you can come down to one or, or both forearms. Breathe well. This is Oceanfront Yoga. There's people coming up and trying to get you to react. Hey, can you turn it? Hey, this isn't a yoga studio. They're literally looking for something to, you know. I just let them go. Great job, everybody. Without your left toes just flopping down, you can release that. Hands underneath your shoulders. Curl your back left toes under. Pick your back left knee up and straighten your arms. Lengthen out your spine, your whole body. Exhale, walk your hands to the left. Straighten both legs and parallel your feet. 
And if you'd like to grab your ankles, your big toes, outsides of your feet, go for it. Shift your weight forward a little bit. Drop your head down. Man, nobody can do this stuff for y'all. This is huge. Thank yourself for being here. And let's enjoy this one. Just creating all kinds of openness and space within our body. Hopefully some space, some stillness, returning to a sense of balance within our mind. Last two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, all right. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, lengthen out. Exhale, walk your hands to low lunge, top of your mat. Let's step your right foot back to your left, plank pose, high push up position. And exhale, lower, take it all the way down to your chest. <laughs> He even grabbed his board and went surfing and left it on. <laughs> that, that's how much. Now bend your knees, grab your right foot or ankle with your right hand, left with left. Exhale everything out. And then inhale, kick your legs up and back and lift everything up. Kick them up, kick them back. Maybe you can get your thighs off the ground, huh? Five, there we go, push a little bit. Four. Beautiful, last three. Two, lift and kick up one last time. And then exhale, release, drop your left ear to your mat, gaze right. Perhaps bend your knees, windshield wipe your legs. Again, bring your chin facing forward. Let's do that one again. Hey, and if that's not happening for you, sorry, I should have told you this first time around. Uh, in the beginning of class, we did those cobra poses. These are the same ideas, spinal strengtheners. So you can do those uh, instead if you need. Otherwise, we're grabbing our feet or ankles. Exhale everything out. Inhale, kick your leg up and back. Lift everything up. Five. Four. Actually, wrong guy. Other guy's in the... Uh... Three. Two, inhale, kick up and lift up. Exhale, release, opposite ear to your mat. Bend your knees, windshield, wipe your legs. Uh, I was mistaken. I was mistaken, it's this guy in the Nissan. Woo, what do you say we take her home, huh, y'all? I'll meet you back in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, sweep her through for half pigeon pose. Take your right ankle across, or left ankle rather, towards your right wrist. Pull your heel in towards your body. You want to protect your knee here. 
First inhale, walk your hands back and open your heart. And then exhale, walk your hands out and open your hips. That's, if you need to take this on your back instead, if you got ankle or knee stuff, it's all good. Deep diaphragm breathing here. Very alive. Nice work, y'all. When you're ready, walk your hands back out of this one. Plant your palms. I'll meet you right back in downward facing dog. Shake, pedal your feet out. Get some blood flow back into that, that leg if you need. And then we'll switch it up. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, sweeper through. Right ankle across towards your left wrist. Ekapara Raja Kapotasana, your one legged half king pigeon. Now, throughout this past, uh, by the time we step off our mat, it will have been an hour. Of you pushing yourself a bit physically, holding the postures. Balancing upper body, lower body, uppers, downers, all arounders, y'all. And you did it in a really calm, hey, Ozzy, come here. Really calm way. So hopefully, you know, that spills over into the rest of your day. Where you went through this stuff uh, that would, would really make people freak out. You know, these postures, I call them simulated stressful situations. Hopefully when you deal with these people, these situations throughout your day, you can kind of just move through it with the same quality of equanimity or balance. This is huge, what you're doing. Tuesdays and Thursdays are nine. Are you gonna do it again? You can. We're online still. You can get the. You can get the uh, the, the live the stream afterwards. Okay, perfect. <laughs> when you're ready, y'all, let's take one more downward facing dog. Last dogger of your day, y'all. Get some blood flow back into that leg. Inhale. Exhale. And take an inhale here. Bend your knees and look forward. End of your exhale. Let's come all the way through to seated. Take your legs out in front. Toes straight up. Work the flesh out you know, from your sit bones a little bit. I would bend my knees, but root into your sit bones. Take the whole inhale, reach your hands up high. Really try to lift up out of your waistline. And then take all that length on your exhale, fold, fold and take it all the way down. Let your back round. And again, bending your knees is okay. 
Inhale. Last inhale here. Exhale it out. Let's inhale, come back up. Palms face up. Exhale, roll easily under your back. Take it all the way down. Happy baby pose is waiting right there for you. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? You see me today? You come and see me today? Huh? Oh, yeah, you good? Yeah. We've come a long way, haven't we? You good? And then perhaps a spinal twist to finish out, everybody. You're choosing. Spinal twist or whatever you need to finish out. Twist and hit both sides evenly. Hey, and when you're all good, take her back through center. Pull both knees in. Take a big inhale here. And then exhale, release, and allow your legs to fall out just comfortably in front of you. Lay back, close your eyes. Take a big inhale here through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Fix it. Again, inhale. Exhale, clear it out. One more. Take an inhale. Hold full. And release. Let her go. Let your breath just settle. Allow your body to soften. And for a few moments, if only for a few moments in your day, allow your mind to be still. And I'll guide us out in just a few here. Shavasana.
Feel that sun here. Feel that sun peeking through. Feel it on your skin. You can just start to breathe in lightly, real easily. If you'd like to wither your fingertips, toes, wrists, ankles, go for it. Could roll on your side like you're sleeping on your side, not a requirement. And also an option to make your way to seated. Take a second, acknowledge yourself, your effort, your commitment for showing up and giving yourself this gift. You won the morning, you made it hard. Your day is going to be easy. Thank yourself, it's deserving. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice, everybody. Thank you for honoring, for honoring the donation-based system that we use here. It's this system that allows us to share this practice with so many. So, Thank you so much for your, your generosity. I appreciate you. The divine within me honors that within you. Namaste. Great job, everybody. Enjoy your day. Uh, we'll have to see what happens on Saturday. Uh, we got to chance of rain and perhaps a lot of wind so uh, Saturday and Sunday so if it's totally obvious don't come <laughs> hop online hop on uh, we're, we're, we're live on YouTube still right now so if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel do that and I'm Steve Yoga on YouTube and hopefully we'll see you this weekend